incredible story. Out of 16,000 entries from 57 countries, only the top 111 images were chosen for the 2009 Art of Photography show. And three of them were taken by local photographer Jeff Wyant. We are so thrilled to have him here today uh, to tell us the stories behind his photos, plus we can what we can expect to see at this year's shows. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you very much. What I think is amazing is you started at 15 years old taking photography as a hobby and a passion, and you've just never let it go. No, nope, I haven't put a camera down since. It's been a pretty amazing 25 years, actually. <laughs> Finding out that three pieces of your work were going to be in this amazing show with all that international, you know, competition, H how did that feel? That I was very honored, uh, even just to be mentioned uh, in the show and to get three images in, in such a prestigious photo exhibit was just absolutely amazing. And you are a professional photographer. I mean, this yeah. is something that you do for a living. And I, I want to kind of give a preface of this of these images. This is a gentleman. There's three gentlemen that um, your photography Correct. is featuring. And from the Street of Dreams, an organization that you've worked for for 11 years, yes. uh, tell us a little bit about the program and why you take pictures of these gentlemen. Well, the program teaches at-risk youth uh, about self-expression through poetry and art. And uh, Teresa Gunn, the founder of the program, I've been working with her for 11 years since she started the program. And typically I'll come in and I will be with the classes from the first day. I'll be photographing them, I'll be videotaping them. And about halfway through, they, they will have warmed up to me, so to speak, and gotten used to me. And I will go ahead and do a formal portrait session and, and put those images together with their poetry for a final product. That's amazing. And I want to talk specifically, you know, I know there, these are very unique cases, but um, we have Jaime, and he is to the picture right uh, to yes. the, the left of, um, of Jeff, if we can get a close-up shot of that one. Yeah. It, it, it's amazing, because all three of these gentlemen have very different stories, Correct. all at-risk youth, either um, incarcerated in prison, come from um, families of, uh, you know, of drug addicts Correct. and just very at-risk situations. They enter this program to be able to express themselves through poetry, and you help them find a more productive path in society. Yeah, no, it, it's really, it's a fulfilling project. It's, it's probably the most important thing I've ever done. Tell us about this kid. Tell um, us about Jaime, uh, he had uh, some issues being in gangs and where he lived. And uh, it really wasn't until I, I got to know him and through the program that I, I really got an understanding that in a lot of cases, they have no choice. And in Jaime's case, he really had to choose. He, he had to choose a side. And that was very difficult. And, and you could tell through his poetry and through his writings and, and, um, and through some of the other photos I took of him that he really didn't want to have to make that choice. Mm -hmm. But his life circumstances brought that about. And Ray Shi, we have a, a, pic a, a picture of Ray yeah. Shi. He, he was, he was uh, a very outspoken uh, young gentleman, <laughs> and uh, again, um, his, you know, his life circumstances kind of dictated his, you know, where he was, and um, he, uh, I, I wish Rashid the best. I think he's probably doing really well because he was very uh, passionate about his, his poetry and, and um, art and and so forth. So okay, and Rashid is the picture right yes. here, right next to me. Yeah. And then the um, the last photograph of um, the gentleman. Um, he <laughs> he uh, was also again a very charismatic uh, person, and uh, his his background with his home uh, life I don't think was was very very positive. And uh, he really looked looked at his uncles and his and the gentleman in, in his life. Uh, for guidance and um, through poetry and art, I think he found that y you know he could become his own man and he could he could set his own direction. It seems like you are just so phenomenal at being able to capture the emotion through their facial expressions, their their eyes, yeah. and there's so many other great works also at the uh, oh, Art of Photography show. Absolutely, absolutely. If we go out there, uh, it's through November first. We November 1st. tell us some of the other things that we'll see. Um, there's some wonderful uh, landscape photography, wonderful uh, you know. Um, portrait series of of just it's just it's an amazing exhibit and Charlotte Cotton did a wonderful job 